Guys, we got more detailed spoilers for Dragon Ball Super episode 120 to 122. Previously I covered the titles and now we have the preview summaries and it gives away some major, major spoilers. Universe 4 is getting destroyed, Piccolo's elimination is confirmed and much more. So let's go through it. Dragon Ball Super Episode 120 A Perfect Survival Strategy Universe 3's Menacing Assassins After defeating Universe 4, Goku and company are now attacked by Universe 3. The enemy marches together to gain astonishing battle power. Goku and company fight back with Gohan's help. They break through the barrier with a Kamehameha, scorching the March warriors. This seems like a victory. But Dragon Ball Super Episode 121 All Out War The Ultimate 4 Way Combination vs Universe 7's Total Offensive, December 24th. Paparone shouts that he will show them Universe 3's ultimate secret technique, and an intense flash envelops his surroundings. Goku, Gohan, Vegeta and the others use their hands to shield themselves from intense light and 17 and 18 bow their heads. When the light dies down and their vision returns, they see the gigantic form of Aniraza. Just as it looked like the fight had been decided, thanks to Goku's action, Universe 3's secret technique explodes. The fight with Universe 3 enters its climax. Dragon Ball Super Episode 119 Preview Summary basically says Piccolo will get eliminated, Gohan and Vegeta will face challenge, and Android 18 is in serious trouble. Dragon Ball Super Episode 122 Stake in his pride Vegeta challenges the strongest, January 7. Translation courtesy Harms98 now, he posted the spoilers twice, an upgraded version after the initial one, I mixed it up like what I thought was fitting. So guys, by episode 121, we will be done with all the distractions coming in between the real war between the universe 7 and 11. The first episode of 2018 is gonna be an epic one, where it's all down between the top two universes and we get a much hyped up battle between Vegeta and Juren. Now, it's not officially confirmed but it sounds like Vegeta will indeed fight Jiren. This episode will break the internet if Vegeta also gets Ultra Instinct. There are a lot of theories going on about him getting the Ultra Offense, you know what I mean. This could ultimately lead up to Ultra Instinct Vegito. However, I wonder what happens to Topo Vegeta rivalry. Personally, I wouldn't mind if Vegeta completes his fight with Topo first. There's a one week break before this episode, so they'll be getting enough time to make it really well, and I'm hoping it'll be one of the finest episodes of this tournament. About Universe 3 and 4, they both challenge U7 and they both get defeated and annihilated. Universe 3 getting destroyed is my guess. But U4's destruction, as you know, is confirmed by the spoilers. Well, we've been talking about the U4 box, the trump card of that universe, for quite a while. But it's funny how they're getting erased in just an episode or two. I like it because I really don't like weird and insignificant looking characters like some bugs doing too much damage. The 4-way fusion of Universe 3 is a cool idea, will be fun to watch and I think this could translate to Z-Warriors having a fusion or merging involving more than just two fighters in some future arc. This also established a bridge of connection and is a nod to the new Dragon Ball Fusions game where you can do shits like that. Anyways, Universe 7 after a long time will be taking some damages in the process of taking down 3 and 4. U11 has the advantage that everyone is not attacking them, while U7 had unfortunately triggered everyone. One victim is confirmed to be Piccolo, another elimination of any sorts is not confirmed by spoilers, but I have a feeling Android 18 will also get eliminated. 
as it comes down to the top 5 strongest fighters of Universe 7, these guys were always the mainstream expectations of being the last survivors. Well, I like all these characters, but I wish there was one exception in the top 5. Like, if you asked anyone who would be the last 5 survivors of U7, they would guess exactly this. And I think it was indeed too predictable. I still will say the same, giving Piccolo a major power boost and keeping him till the end would be much more entertaining to watch. And I'm sure Piccolo is more popular than at least the androids, fans would love it. But hey, what are you gonna do?